Hello, I'm Lisa Nero Hacker, hypnotherapist and author of Pandemic Phoenix, and welcome to another episode of Author Diaries. And today I want to dive into actually showing you my book and showing you two versions of my book. So I'm right now home at my parents' place, which is why I actually do have two of the copies, the two different versions of my book in my hands. So I quickly wanted to just give an introduction and just show you what these different books are look like. So this whole thing has been such a journey. Who has been following me around knows that I launched my book Pandemic Phoenix, which is a personal story about self-discovery, about pushing yourself through emotionally challenging times and coming out on the other side, a better version of yourself, a stronger, more optimistic version. And that's what I share in my book and in my story. It's a story beyond the pandemic. It's a story about life development, personality development, and really just finding your strength again in struggling times. And it's been such a journey as well, not just a self-development journey of this book and the story behind it, but it's been such a journey to bring this to life. I launched my book Pandemic Phoenix last year in February as an ebook and since then it took me another eight months, six months I think, that I actually managed to launch it as a print version. I self-published my book, I self-edited, self-formatted my book, wrote my book obviously, but did it all myself. And by now I can proudly say that I've successfully launched it as a print version and as a paperback version. By now you can actually get it on Amazon. First, when I started out, this wasn't even my first choice. I was trying to make other things work. I am using a print on demand service because of course I don't have a publisher, so I have to find other ways. And it's been such a journey of teaching myself all that knowledge, doing all the research behind it, and really just understanding how to do these things. Also then understanding how to send and deliver internationally. And there's so many border problems and tax problems and just sales problems and all of that you have to take into account. So I'm extremely proud that I am holding these two versions in my hands. This version is the Amazon version that I have on there as a print-on-demand copy. This version is my South Africa version, um, where I work together with a local print company who printed these books for me, and they did such a fantastic job. You can already see today is about just comparing these two, just giving you some insights and just, yeah, showing, showcasing <laughs> what these books look like. So you can already see the cover on the Amazon book is a bit darker, um, which is a bit of a pity, but I, I don't mind. Um, I like this obviously a bit better and it's just absolutely fantastic what this printing company has done for very little money. So I'm extremely impressed, but obviously, and that is something that I also want to talk about in this scope because no one ever tells you these things. If you want to sell a book, <laughs> I am based in Cape Town, you want to sell a book and you want to ship it and you want to deliver it to people. Cape Town is not a good place to be because shipping is very expensive. Shipping books is very expensive. And so I kind of like lost myself in a spiral of figuring out how to send, where to send, what to send with. I didn't really find a solution. Everything was so expensive that I didn't really know what to do about it. And now looking back, I should have just said at some point, whatever, just screw it, just go with Amazon, just put it on there and then we've got it covered. But I was so determined to get this book out and have it printed in Cape Town and have it shipped out into the world. And it was such a chaos. And at some point I luckily said, okay, let's abandon this mission here and let's actually work with Amazon and get it on there. I am super happy with both versions, especially knowing that the Amazon version is obviously something where they take all the work off my hands. So if you order at Amazon, then it's a print on demand service. So that means they receive a trigger and then the system understands you want a book, they print the book, they deliver the book and it happens very quickly. So I'm extremely impressed about the turnaround time. And then they get it to you and I don't have to really do anything about it. I obviously did the whole setup process behind it of uploading the book, formatting the book, everything that comes together with it, doing the cover design, everything. And uh, now though, when you order it, it's all in the system and it's all automated and it's all working out very well. 
If you are in certain regions in the world, it might take a bit longer because it takes a bit longer at the border and there are some tax things uh, where they have to like just do some border control things and tax issues and whatsoever. So it might take a bit longer because of that, but you can order it any, anywhere in the world. So that's pretty fantastic and extremely exciting. Let's compare these two. So as I already pointed out, lighter, darker, everything else looks exactly the same. The Amazon book is a little bit, I mean, this looks especially thin now, <laughs> but is a little bit thinner, which is still fine though, um, because what I really didn't want was a book that feels extremely floppy and thin, but the Amazon pages are still fantastic. So they're still very thick and it's still a nice feeling to just like flip through the book, which is very fantastic. And I'm so impressed because yeah, what you're getting here for the effort that you're putting in. I mean, it's fantastic that I don't have to have a stock of books at home and then send them out, but they actually do the job for me. It's absolutely fantastic. This very much looks the same. <laughs> it just says Pandemic Phoenix and Lisa Zimmerman. Uh, can I point out how much I love this Lisa Zimmerman logo design, which I obviously designed. <laughs> But uh, yeah, very much still in love with it. I'm really happy I chose it for the book because it looks very sleek and professional and very pretty, actually. Um, the back cover looks almost exactly the same. The picture is not even that dark. I think here it's just because it's the black color which makes it so dark. But everything else is pretty fantastic. So the quality in itself, although I'm extremely in love with the Cape Town version, is uh, fantastic. And I'm so excited that you can actually get it on Amazon and it's so easy to order it. Everything else inside the book is the same. So of course you also have in this version, you have the QR code pages where you can just scan the QR code and can then just uh, explore more <laughs> and can just uh, check out some gifts that I actually added to the book and some downloads and stuff like that. So that's very exciting. Um, of course the cover and the first page and everything looks the same um, and every single time I look at it I'm so happily proud <laughs> and yeah this is just like a quick comparison um, check it out uh, on Amazon you can easily get it you get it delivered very quickly and let me know how you like the story how the story has impacted you and your life I'd be extremely happy to hear about that I just met some like I've just been traveling out in the world and I just met some more people and one guy, he actually ordered the book right afterwards and he got it delivered to New York. We met in Bali. He got it delivered to New York to gift it to his sister because he had this feeling and the intuition that his sister might need it. And that is something that I think is so beautiful that you might have the urge to order this for yourself, to just dive into your personal emotional world and just feeling there's something just not right and something's just feeling wrong and your, your stomach is just a weird feeling that you want to take care of something, then this is a perfect intuitive step to take to just read the story of another person and hopefully you'll find some answers in it. That was always my biggest goal and so far I've been getting pretty good feedback and uh, very kind responses of people who have been so kindly reaching out to me, telling me how much it has helped them. And maybe you also know someone who you can gift it to. This is just a beautiful gesture to just send this out to someone else because talking about things might oftentimes be hard, but actually just ordering something, sending it to them without even a comment or just like a small, you can even send messages with a gift. That's what I actually oftentimes do when I have something delivered to myself. I actually still put a gift message on that to just make myself like give myself a compliment. And you can just do that and it would be a beautiful gesture to do something for someone else and it would help them so much. So maybe you feel an intuitive feeling here and you should act upon it then. You can just click below the video. There's all the links that you might need. And I'm really excited to talk more. Just drop all the questions that you might have in the comments and excited to share more in other episodes. And have a wonderful day from here on and I'll talk to you soon.